So this would make a great Christmas gift, birthday gift, Father's Day gift, Mother's Day. I know there's a lot of ladies out there doing these DIYs, but this is an awesome system. So it's a great time of year to think about purchasing one. Hi YouTube friends, Brad Silverline and Adrian's. Welcome to our channel. So I thought it'd be great just to show you this DeWalt Tough System 2.0 storage unit. So it's a portable mobile rolling storage unit so you can take it from job site to job site. <laughs> Just snaps right in. You know that, right? So when you go to lift that yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. So this is something that I really should have done years ago, you know. Um, so I took all my tools, I laid them all out, and now I realize they're not going to all fit in there. So I have to decide what to put into my storage unit and what to keep in the garage here. At first, I thought it would be great to buy all these accessories to include with this. But, you know, really, I just want to not spend a lot of time. I just want to load it up with what makes the most sense to put in there. I want to use it for a while and then sort through what do I want to keep? Where in this unit do I want to, you know, keep things? How do I want to move things? What do I want to buy to add to it? So I think it's going to be a work in progress for a while. But, um, man, I wish I would have done this years ago. You know, I'm in my 50s and I just now realize I need a portable storage unit. So rather than me just showing you putting everything away, I think I'm going to bring you along with after I get everything in here and just kind of briefly show you what I got going here. So really excited about this. I've had this for months. And uh, let's get started. So, yeah, about an hour and a half later, that's what it looks like. I'll show you what I've got for some of the tools I put in there in a little bit here. Over on this side here, I've got a scissors, channel lock, crescent wrenches. Uh, I got some bigger vice grips. Got a wire cutter, a couple of needle nose pliers, different types of metric and standard set of um, open box ended wrenches, uh, pliers. Different. And here I've got some very small screwdrivers, some chisels, different types of ratchets, multiple types of screwdrivers. And then so I'll lift out this, this tray comes out. This tray comes out as well. And in here I've got small levels, hammers. Oh man, I've got everything and anything in there. I, at first when I had everything laying out, I didn't think very much would fit in there. But there is a ton of stuff that fit in there. So probably what I'll do is get a, a tray or two to separate this a little bit better down inside there. But like I said earlier, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a work in progress. So I'm just gonna hold off. So I'm not gonna tell you everything that's in here. Uh, but it's everything from a coping saw to a hacksaw, caulk gun, just anything and everything in there. And then these just go back inside. And I love the idea of having these trays because I can pretty much see what I have and I can move them around. So that's what's in there. So here's the box that's a little bit smaller. So I've got a stapler. This also will take brad nails, my cordless drills, stud finder, pencil, and then these will come out. There's my big corded drill, charger, drill bits in there. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. So guys, I'm going to have to exchange this and get a different one because this doesn't go with the Tough System 2.0. Um, so, yeah, I'll take this back and I'll get a different unit to add. And we'll take this out, but I just wanted to show you what I've got going here. Maybe I can turn it. 
headlamp, Allen wrenches. And I just tape measure different tools in here, little sockets, little um, uh, tips for screwdrivers my, for my drills, just odds and ends. So again, it's a work in progress. I think what we'll do right now is we'll take all these smaller power tools, we'll put them into the large duffel bag, and I'll see if I can carry that, you know, if it's not too heavy to lift it and put it in the truck and take it out. So if that'll work, maybe I'll just keep that. If that doesn't work, I'll go buy another toolbox, maybe even another set of wheels so that I can wheel it around. But uh, again, I want it to be a work in progress. I don't want to buy anything unless I know that I need it because we are decluttering. Because what I'm finding is less is more and certainly that holds true as we're aging. I think the brad nailer should just stay right in there. This is a Craig jig that I bought a couple years ago and I think I'll just keep that in the garage for now. Grinder that can stay in the garage. The respirator can stay in the garage. Stapler, I think I can put that right in with the uh, drill bits. Circular saw, I think we'll put that right in here. Cordless small circular saw. Dremel. Some blades for my circular saw. Palm sander. So this is a belt sander. I think I'll put it in a bay because it gets kind of dirty and messy. Let's see if we can close this up better. Extension cord. A couple empty bags. All right, my saws off. That's gonna have to stay in here. Let's see how heavy this is. It's heavy, but it's doable. Certainly it's not gonna zip shut. But this might work. So I'm thinking maybe the brad nailer can go in there with the brad nails. No. So I'm thinking this brad nailer may fit in here if we take these out. I can buy foam that goes on the bottom of this box, take the brad nailer out, lay it in there, maybe some foam on top, or wrap the brad nailer, because I don't want the mechanism to get all bent up. So this may fit in there, so we'll try that at another time. So I think this system here might be totally doable. So I think what we'll do is we'll load it all in the truck, see how heavy it is, how long and how hard it is to get it in the truck, and that's going to give us even a better idea. So let's get going on that. So this would be great for a Christmas gift, Father's Day gift, birthday present for Dad. For your mom, for that matter, there's a lot of you ladies out there doing DIY, so this is awesome. This would make a great gift.
You want me to watch it fall apart? <laughs> no. Nice mask. Thank you. Matches my outfit. <laughs>